Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next installment for Claire's Project Pan Weekly Makeup Basket thing. Um, this time around we're going to have to switch it up completely because there are some eyeshadows which are just not getting use and it's just driving me insane. So, I am taking out the Vice 4 and I am taking out the Urban Decay Suspect. They're just being taken out completely. Um, normally I do this like um, how I do my makeup, so we are going to keep with that theme. So first things first, primer is still going to be this. This is the Benefit Stay Matte Gel thing. Professional professional mattifying gel, I think that's what it's called. Um, that's how much I have left, so hopefully this will be done. Um, the reason that you're not seeing much progress on this is because you only need a teeny tiny bit at a time. So, so that's my primer. Foundation, I've nearly finished the Benefit Hello Flawless, like there's one use left in there and then I'll be done. So that can go in there. Uh, primer for work, which I've not used yet, um, and I have the BB cream, which I have used. Lip primer, uh, my brow uh, thing, my bronzer will uh, will remain the same also. Uh, my thing powder for setting the BB cream. My concealer will also stay the same. These are items that I've gone through in other things, uh, other episodes with you guys um, but it, they're not changing because they, I don't have anything else right now and um, or I do have other bronzers but I'm not changing it out because I want to finish this up completely and if I change it out then this one won't get as much use before the end of the year and this is the only one before the end of the year that I aim to complete so uh, right now this is the only one I want to use until it's done um, and as you can see I'm like really getting down there like everything around that pan is so thin that like every time I use it I, mean, I hit more pan um and that to me is amazing I will be repressing this fairly soon I reckon so really happy about that um so bronzer uh, next is blush so before I had in this Urban Decay um eight hour eight hour yeah eight hour wear powder blush in fetish it just looks like that um, I think I might keep this in, to be honest. Um, I've really been enjoying that blush, and the other ones that I have right now are not due anytime soon in Project Pants. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this one in for this week, I think. Um, highlighters, um, I think I might also, actually, now I'm going to trade the highlighter out, because my Halloween project will be finishing at the end of October. So, so for highlight, I have this MUA Undress Your Skin. It's what I have on today. It's kind of like a... Um, it looks white in the pan, but it, well, kind of white in the pan, but it's kind of gold iridescence. So it's, it's like really, really good. Even on my finger, it looks white. Can you see any better there? Kind of. You can kind of see the gold there. Um, so I've really been enjoying this. Um, but the reason I'm trading it out is because my Halloween project is coming up soon. And I need to get some use on my other highlighter, which is this one. This is the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. And it's a very similar shade, to be honest. Sort of that creamy with gold iridescence. But this one, you can see, does have a dip in it. And I did want to hit pan, so I'm going to aim to do that. Um, that's that. So... That's all the face stuff. Um, I'm going to put this back in. This is the um, PS by Primark lip pencil. Um, for lipstick, I'm going to put in... Oh, I'm also going to put this in. This is the LOC um, eyeshadow stick in Out of Your Shell. Um, I've had this in every single one of these boxes so far, and I just use it for my brow bone highlight, and it works really, really well for that. It's just by there. Um, so I'm going to keep that in. Uh, my mascara stays the same because it's the only one that I have going at the moment and it's the only one I have in a project. Um, for I'm going to also put this in because I like to wear a liquid under my powder highlight um, and this is in a project so that's going in. Um, I need to put in my concealer which I seem to have... that's here. Um, so I have this concealer stick, this is the Lord & Berry pencil. Um, it's just in the shade Ivory, um, it needs sharpening. But I just use this before I put my eyeshadow base down, just to hide any discoloration that I have around my eyes. Um, and it kind of works for that, but it's really, really thin formula, so I'll be glad when this is done. But like, 
there's not that much left of it. So that's going to go in. I'm going to get some use out of that. Um, my eyeshadow base at the moment is this uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Trick. And um, we'll give you a swatch of that as well. It's just a beautiful orangey gold bronze colour. Um, and it's lovely, but it's a little bit light for me to wear um, underneath. Um, and I much prefer a darker eyeliner. And then what I've done today, actually, is I've got the dark blue and then a lighter blue underneath it. And I quite like the way those two blend together. Um, but like the other way around, it doesn't really work for me. I can't have the lighter colour and then the darker underneath that. It just makes my eyes look weird. So that's why I've been using that as an eyeshadow base. Eyeshadows. What I, I need a lipstick as well. The lipstick I'm going to put in is this one. This is the W7 in Pumpkin Pie. It just looks like that. Um, this is in my Halloween project also. And as I said to you five minutes ago, it is coming up soon. So it's just that one there. That one can go in. Um, now we can move on to the eyeshadows. I need something to set my eyeshadow primer with. Um, okay, let's put the vice ball back in just because it, this needs more progress. Oh, I just dropped it. Not the vice. I just dropped this. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to put the vice ball back in. I'm concentrating on this shade here. As you can see, I've got quite a big dip in it now. Um, and I want to hit pan for my Halloween project. So I'm going to put that in. Um, and I use that to set my primer because it's too light to use as anything else. Um, and then eyeshadow wise, I'm not going to put Suspect back in. I want to try and use something a little bit different. I'm going to put in this. This is the sleek, um, whimsical Wonderland collection, All the Fun of the Fair. And I am panning this shade in teacups, this one here. Um, I want to finish it up completely, so I'm going to add that in. And to go along with that, I'm going to add in, I can wear it like different ways. I can wear it with this, um, which is in my roulette that I'm doing with Amanda. Um, and I want to hit pan on that. So I can do it with that. So I'm going to put that in. But also I can do it with a deeper pinky colour. Um, so I'm going to put this in as well. Um, this is in my... Uh, the Romance uh, Cupid's Bow project that I'm doing and I'm concentrating on these two shades here and these two shades here. So I think with the pink these two will be okay um, and I can use this one as a transition shade. So I'm going to put that palette in as well. Um, and that's it for eyeshadows this time around I think. Um, I really need to get some use out of the eyeshadow jelly. Let's have a look. Let's see if jelly would go with it as well. Because if it does, then I'll put jelly in as well. Jelly's a bit brighter than those other two. I'm not the biggest fan of that shade, you know. I know a lot of people said it when this palette first came out, the uh, Too Faced Peanut Butter. But the more I use it, the more I agree with what they said about it being a little bit meh. Okay, let's see the pink one. Okay, so these are the four shades here. These are the two from the um, Sleek palette. This is the other one from the Sleek palette, Teacups. And this is jelly. Um, I think... I mean, I could make it work. These two would look nice together. So I could use these two together and then use the um, this one here, the more brownie toned one, to just deepen up this colour a little bit. I think that could work. So I might put the peanut butter and jelly in there as well. So that's four, five different eyeshadow palettes this time around and no singles. Um, so... Oh, and my setting sprays. So I'm going to put in the both of these. I use this one before my makeup, this one after my makeup. Um, so I'm going to put both of those in. And that is my basket for this time round. That's what it looks like. Absolute chaos as usual. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this, to be honest. It's getting me some really good use out of the things that I wouldn't normally get use out of. And like... Um, this breaks my heart because I'm so, so, so close to hitting pan. So close. But I know that I need to switch it up because nothing else is being used while I'm trying to hit pan on this. So I've had to do it. It is what it is. Um, and that's what this pro and that's what this kind of project basket thing does, is it like makes you change stuff. Like I could sit there and concentrate on this and keep concentrating on it and still not hit pan. 
but then not get any use out of the others either. And that's what I was doing before. I was not getting use out of anything because I was concentrating on one thing and not finishing it. So yes, um, Jessica's doing this with me. Jessica is Beauty and Baseball here on YouTube and I'll link her channel down below. She had some really really great ideas of putting uh, skincare and hair care and body care in there as well. Um, I don't do that just because everything is laid out on my side in the bathroom anyway, like as I'm panning it, so I don't feel the need to uh, do that to add it into this. It's not so much chaos as the makeup situation was, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, but definitely check out Jessica's channel, um, and if you've come from Jessica's channel, hi, how are you? I'm Claire, um, thank you for joining us, I really hope you stick around and subscribe, and if you've not come from Jessica's channel, definitely go and check her out, and you should totally subscribe to both of us, because we're awesome. Okay, thanks guys for watching, I will see you soon, take care, bye.